Hey, good morning everyone. It's Tony from the Branded Man Garage today. I'm working on this 3800 supercharged motor. Uh, I was called my uh, O'Reilly's to try to get exhaust manifold um, studs with nuts on the end. So I'm actually going to show you guys what I'm talking about. So right there is an exhaust manifold stud and then it has a nut on it. Well, the inner ones don't have that. Um, I, I'm not using rusty old bolts. So I try to call O'Reilly's. They have no idea. Um, I tried the ones from the help section. I'll actually show you what I'm talking about. So I tried these from the help section. Well, those don't work. So um, I called everyone. I called Napa. They don't have them. I called pretty much. Um, and then I called CarQuest, the other local place. Uh, no one has them. So the last call I made was to the Chevy dealer and more of my buddy Kirk over there at the Morris Chevrolet, and I'm hoping he can get me eight. I need eight of them. I want to make sure I bolt this thing really nice. Uh, I have this EGR blocked off. That one is blocked off. Now I need to block that one off. The problem is, as you can see, the thing that I use, the little tube thing that I use that I cut, well, it doesn't fit. So what I'm thinking about doing is getting a, um, a frost plug and putting in there. So I'm going to measure the inner diameter and get a frost plug for that. To do that right and then not even use uh, the cover, I won't even need that. So I need to do that. Um, the fuel line is pretty much done. The only thing is this one end right here. So this end is going to go up, up in here, and then it's going to come out up on the top. So I want to make sure the length is right and everything. Um, and then here's another thing with the exhaust manifold. See, I got the two outer bolts. So... Um, I mean, these are the things that people don't understand when you're doing a swap to make it look nice. Not only that, you want it functional so you don't have the problems that, that I had over the years. So I'm trying to do everything really neat, organized. Um, there's the uh, temp uh, sender that goes into the tube. So I need this. There's a rubber four-inch, uh, like you can use it for plumbing. There's a four-inch thing that comes, and then I'm going to use a PVC pipe. So here's a PVC, a black PVC pipe like I used in my 88 GTs. I used this, then put a K&N cone. So what I did was I put it like that. And then you got a real cold air intake, not, not some intake that just sits inside your engine compartment. It actually is going to sit right here. So I'll show you is the cold air will sit right here. And then actually when this comes, I mean, this should, I think he's going to get vents. So he'll have a vent there and then actually it'll be a real cold air not one sitting inside your engine compartment getting hot so um these are just things that i'm trying to get buttoned up today uh i really want that done and then there's another thing i'm doing is right here with the well alternator is i'm gonna make a bracket right here that goes between these two so then it has more strength instead of just one bolt on the top for the alternator it'll actually have another uh, it'll have a, a bracket right here. So then it'll hold the alternator better. Um, and then, you know, that's pretty much how it looks. It's it's getting there. It looks really, it looks really good. Um, and then I got to cut, I'm going to cut a little bit more on the, on the hinge bracket. I want to cut that so it doesn't hit the coil pack. Um, I want the coil pack here. And this is where I'm going to put it actually in my convertible too since my convertible is already cut because the North Star was in there. So there's nothing there on the convertible. It's actually welded flat. I welded it flat so it's really nice. So uh, I'm actually thinking about doing it there too is cutting it flat, making it look really nice. So then, the, uh, then, then it has an awesome ground. You're not going to have the problems. Not only that, I don't want my coil packs on the back. That's where your exhaust is. Do you really want your coils in the back where they're going to get hot? I wouldn't suggest that. It doesn't get quite as hot on that side as it does on the back. So that's why I want the coils there too. I usually mount them on the back up on the top. That's where I mounted my two cars. But I decided I don't want them there because they are a pain to change. So I was like, eh, I'll just keep them in the stock location. Um, it, it's just better for long term. Uh... Uh, you don't have to worry about a wiggling. It's like I had them uh, wiggling over the years, and then I had uh, ignition problems and stuff because the ground wasn't good. So just the things that you learn over the years of doing this stuff. So it looks really nice. I'm really excited. Uh, I need to make the coil tops for this. So I'm going to actually show you. I started cutting it. 
I actually started cutting the coil over the, to make the coil overs, but I want to make sure I don't cut the, the 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 strut. So I have to. So this is tedious work. So you have to take and then you have to grind the weld off really nice and smooth. If you don't grind that off really nice and smooth, then you're gonna have a problem. It's just not only it's not gonna look nice. You're gonna drill in. So when I was doing the yellow. Uh, t-top with the north star i actually cut into one of the shocks so i had to replace it i don't want to do this these are brand new these are good shocks are good struts um i don't want to cut into them so and then i i finished the, the, the hats are done these top parts are done they look nice um i welded them so that's about it have a good one guys see ya